We got to start seeing the curses that fell upon our people to say, dang, all of this happened because we broke God's laws. So if this happens negatively because we break God's laws, what will happen if we keep God's laws? Bring it out. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the truth. Let's look to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. I do believe in the creator, but how you feel about the scriptures and the chapters that people say are taken out of the Bible? What scriptures are taken out? They say it's like chapters taken out. Well, there is a um, book called the Apocrypha. Let me, let me do that. All right. So a lot of times we worry about what ain't there rather than dealing with what is there. Get that in Revelation where it says hold fast. Okay. Because what, what you realize is it's always been there. The stuff that you need to gain salvation, you say you believe in God, right? You believe in the creator, the creator of heaven and earth, right? The creator of heaven and earth is the living God of the Bible. That's right. You understand? No, all these other nationalities, all these other creeds, races, they're talking about our God, but just putting a new face to our God. I mean, yeah, I did. Do you understand that? I did. So let's see what the living God said for his children. Read. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already hold, have hold fast until I come. So Christ, who came as a mediator for the creator, said, hold fast to what you already have. We already have the scriptures right here to show you who you are, what your purpose is, and how to obtain salvation. Right. You understand that? And that's how you build that uh, uh, relationship back with the creator. Point blank period. You understand? Because the creator is showing us things in the land. He's showing us signs and wonders to show you first off who you are and also that he's still in control. Right. You understand that? So now we have to get ourselves back in control to do what he said do. Hold fast to what he's already given you. What is that? His law, statutes, and commandments. Because why? These things happen when we broke those things, those laws. Do you understand that? When we decided to start eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, this happened to us. Th these were more of the situations where it was forced upon us day in, day out. But before all this happened, we made a decision to do that. Right. You see that? But that's not holding fast to what was already given to us. That makes sense? But what now, what do we have to do? Get that in First Kings. Uh, did I finish that out? Uh, Reason yeah. again from the top so the brother can get that full understanding. Remember Revelation chapter 2 verse 25. Bring it out. But that which he have already, which he have already, hold fast till I come. Keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read on. And he that overcometh and keepeth my words until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Power over the nations is a part of the salvation for Israel. You understand that? That's right. Power over the nations. We at the bottom of civilization right now. But God says as long as we're going to keep his statutes and commandments and endure to the end and overcome our sin, our personal sin, then we will have power over the nation. We will become priests, kings, and rulers all over again. So guess what we have to do? We got to simply repent. Change our mindset, one. Change our actions, two. And build back our nation, three. You understand that? But the, the problem comes is, who are we? Because when you don't know who you are, it's a, you have a hard time figuring out, well, how do I hold myself accountable? You understand that? That's why we start right here. What did the slave man call you? And what does God call you? Because when you find out your God-given name, you'll say, well, what was God's purpose for me? You understand? Things start to, you start to meditate upon things differently when you have that responsibility. 
Make sense? So let's show you in your repentance how you know God is still talking to you as a child of Israel. Get 1 Kings 8 and 46. Because what we see in today's world amongst the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're in the midst of our sin. So in the midst of our sin, our mindset ain't right, our actions ain't right, our community ain't right, our nation ain't right, and then we mad when other people treat us unjustly. But we've been doing the injustice to ourselves. Yeah. So let's see how God, the creator, is dealing with that. Read. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Oh. If they sin against thee. God says, if my children sin against me, read. For there is no man that sinneth not. All of them in the midst of they sin, read. And thou be angry with them. And God is angry with us. That's why he allowed these things to happen. Because most of our people, in their justification of saying, I don't believe in God no more. Well, why would a loving God put us into slavery to the other nations? Because you didn't love God. Right. That was a punishment. So God says he's angry when he sees the people he ordained to be special and above doing all the things of a grimy lifestyle. That makes yep. sense. So he's punishing us for living grimy lives. We don't. And deliver them to the, to the enemy. Uh-oh, and deliver. He delivered us to our enemies. And our enemies made us their slaves. So this happened because we spat in God's face. And God says, you know what? I'm going to put you into the hands of the people that already hated you from the beginning. You know? I wanted you to be their rulers, but now I'm going to make you their servants. We don't. Oh. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. Uh-oh. Carried us away captive. Carried us away as slaves. What are uh, slave ships? Carried us away as slaves on slave ships. Took our names away from us. Made us their property. And guess what? We're still their property today. What's your last name? Campbell. So guess what? Your lineage goes back to the ownership of Master Campbell. Make sense? To an extent. Because guess what? Did we keep our God-given names when we got off those slave ships? When we were begging for our lives and trying to beg for our children back? Could we keep our name or our heritage? No. So everything about us changed. You understand that? Even our given names. But we don't. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives. Carried us away captive on slave ships. You got a flyer already? Look at that flyer. Go to the second page of the flyer because what I'm looking for is actually in there. Do you see those slave routes? The slave ships were how we were carried away captive. And watch this. All the slave routes that were taken, you'll see that we're going to the west you'll see that we were going to the east and made captives in lands far and near to our homeland, Jerusalem. Read on. Unto the land of the enemy, far or near. Read on. Yet, if they bethink themselves. So God says in our repentance, we have to bethink ourselves. What does it mean to bethink? If I wanted to bethink something that happened two days ago, what do I have to do? Remember. First off, you've got to remember who you are. When you remember who you are, you ever seen a uh, Lion King? Yeah, that's a good movie. It's about us. When you remember who you are, then you will start to fulfill your purpose all over again. That's right. That's right. That, this is how we reverse all of this. We got to start seeing the curses that fell upon our people to say, dang, all of this happened because we broke God's laws? All right, so if this happens negatively because we break God's laws, what would happen if we keep God's laws? Bring it out. Officer was just bringing up a heavy point. You married? You're engaged. Do you have children? How many children do you have? Two boys. All right. So you have your seed that is going to learn not just from your words, but more so from your actions. So if you but think yourself and change your actions, how much more is that going to benefit your next generation? Bring it on. See, and, and here in America, we always think that the riches are money. The riches is actually wisdom. Right. You understand? So watch that. That goes into be thinking yourself, recognizing that our captivity happened because we broke God's laws. We don't. Yet 
if they bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captive uh -huh. and repent. And repent. So here in America, where we were carried captive, we lost our God-given name, lost our heritage, lost our damn minds. God says, if we remember ourselves and repent, change, change. That, that's a word that the Negro here in America don't want to hear, change. You want to know why? We're comfortable in our sin. We're comfortable in lower state. We're comfortable going from check to check. We're comfortable with baby mama, baby daddy drama. We're comfortable selling drugs to our people and killing our people. Matter of fact, we're comfortable with the injustice that happens to our nation overall. Yep. I was just dealing with a brother over there. He out here selling drugs like we don't know that. Like we come from them same lifestyles. Bring it out. But he tried to make an excuse for the white boy who just got off with killing people broad daylight and just said, oh, well, everybody has a choice, and I believe it was self-defense. Let's see what God has to say about it. We got to bethink ourselves according to what God says. Right. You understand that? Not based on society, because you said that's tricky? Okay. So when George Floyd, I'm, I'm going to put it, where was George Floyd's trial? Huh? George Floyd. No. George Floyd's trial for him and the judge and the jury was on the street where he had a knee on his neck. Bring he didn't have a chance to justify himself in front of 12 jurors. Jeez. What about Trayvon Martin? Where was his judge and jury for what happened to him? Ahmaud Arbery, where was his judge and jury? That was a murder. That's my point. Right. We always justify the murderer rather than the murdered in our community. Bring it out. Meanwhile, on TV, social media, everybody's going to demonize the person who got murdered. Bring it out. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. And who's always the one getting murdered? Our people. When we lose track of who we are, we lose track of our values. But you can bet your bottom dollar, East Indian gonna value their people, whites are gonna value their people, Chinese are gonna value their people, but because we don't know who we are, they don't value us. You understand that? Yeah, yeah, but when you were saying that, I just thought you were talking about just like... Just overall, no. No, we're dealing with straight forward facts. Because guess what? Who's in the street talking about Black Lives Matter? Who's doing that? Have you ever seen a protest called Chinese Lives Matter? No. What about Japanese Lives Matter? No. What about White Lives Matter? No. They'll march, protest, they'll do whatever they want to do, and they'll get results. We're going to cry, yell in the streets, and nothing gets done. Bring it out. Matter of fact, nowadays, when it comes to black protests, you see more white people out there, but our neighborhoods still get demonized and thrashed to pieces. Teach. So what, when we don't bethink ourselves, we start to think that everything going on around us is normal. Right. But yet we are still in captivity, because guess what? That next year, that neighborhood that got thrashed, you still have to pay taxes in it. So where is your justice? Oh, my neighborhood got messed up. <laughs> when are we going to get... Uh, uh, reconstruction tax breaks. When, when are we? We don't get no benefits here in America. The benefit that you will find here in America is your repentance. And that's what we're teaching our people. Because this place gonna burn. Whether our people believe it or not, you can, if you're watching the news, you will see that America is about to be destroyed. Right. Now, if you're gonna have your hand holding America's hand, you're gonna be destroyed right along with it. The no. salvation is only for the children of Israel. That's so right. you came in slavery here in America, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that's the only people who salvation for. Right. But meanwhile, in Joel Osteen's church, they're going to say the Bible is for everybody. That's a lie. That's See? the same lie they brought when they started dashing your babies across stones. 
when they put you in chains and shackles. That's what they did. But you got to bethink yourself. Finish that off. Read. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. So the Bible is talking to those of the captivity. Those who went into slavery on ships. The Bible is your book. The right. Bible is your constitution. That's the right. Bible will help you realize who you are and what you should be doing in these last days. Right. That's right. Rather than living as a slave here in America continually. So everybody got to make a decision. Do you want to be saved or do you want to remain a slave? So watch this. Go to Luke 1 and 68. Because everybody in the Christian church, you ever been to a Christian church before? You grew up Baptist. When they say, I'm saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled, what does that mean? What does that mean? Been baptized, gave myself to, myself to the Lord. Meanwhile, that same pastor is sleeping with everybody on the front row. Bring it out. Bring it out. Or sleeping with little girls who sit on the back row. Teach. The deacons got their thing going on with the missionaries and all that stuff, right? So how is that saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled? Every situation is different, but the Bible has laws that shouldn't have to be changed. It's, it's either you're doing right or wrong. Every, every, in basically every religion that has some type of issue like that. Now, pause. 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 Now, are we talking about every religion that made us slaves? Or are we talking about God's word? Ah, so there's a difference, right? God's word and every other religion have nothing to do with each other. What? We've learned every other religion and every other ideology. That's why we're slack when it comes to judging matters. Bring it out. We do it based on what our oppressors have told us is okay. Teach. We're trying to uh, bring you back to what God says is right and fair because this is, this is the uh, effect and consequences of following religion. Because meanwhile, look at this. When they were bringing this image, when they were bringing this image to conquer our people, white Jesus, this is what they were doing to us as a people. Those that did not want to believe, you see that? That's the cross of Christianity, right? That same cross that's in the Baptist church. Matter of fact, Southern Baptist churches were made by who? Who's the founders of the Southern Baptist church? Do you know? Mm. No, 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 no. Who, what group or subgroup created the Southern Baptist Church? The KKK. Meanwhile, that's a part of the ideology or a branch off of the ideology you say you grew up in. Bring it out. So no longer are they destroying the children like this, hanging them up, setting them on fire, dashing them across stones. They just mess your mind up to where you don't know how to judge a matter according to what God says. Do you understand that? So we're trying to show you how to really be saved. You got to save yourself in the mind first. If you don't know how to use your mind, the white man will always find a purpose for your body. That's why we got so many people in the NFL, NBA, AAU, high school basketball, college basketball, and guess where they all at after the white man use them up? Right back in their damn hoods. Bring it out. Because they never use their minds, but they use their bodies. What about our women? Our women won't use their mind to get their mind set to be a wife, but they'll be on every billboard to be a video vixen, a Tatiana. You understand that? A baby mama, everybody's local baby mama. Because we're not using our minds. That's why the Bible says, yet if they shall bethink themselves. That's a strong word. Some, word, some of these words Negroes never actually take in and say, you know what, I do need to find out who I really am. If you're calling yourself black African-American, that's nobody. That's a slave name. Right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of Israel. You that's are the Israelites. Right. But you have to bethink yourself and say, well, what comes along with being an Israelite? Because in the Christian church, they said, I'm saved, sanctified, holy, go feel. Let's see what saved is. Let's see what salvation is going to come. Read. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the God of Israel. Blessed be the God of Israel. Right there, it's, it just says one nation, right? There's only one nation under God. Only one nation. Who is that? The Israelites. That's right. The Israelites went into slavery on slave ships. 
got their names changed. They're still suffering oppression till this day. This is the King James Version, the same version that's been on everybody's table for the last hundred years. But guess what? Instead of reading what the Bible says, we've been going along with the ideology of our oppressors. Right. Matter of fact, I, get, I already know what thing is in your head. Well, I heard King James was gay. I heard King James was white. But then when you read the same literature of those people who oppressed us, they're gonna, they know amongst themselves King James looked just like you. That's right. Because in England, <laughs> the Stuarts were actually ruling as black people, Moors, right? They were there. That's our people. Right. But what was their lineage? What was their bloodline? They were Israelites. That's right. right. You understand that? So they're going to hide certain things from you, but then give you a lie to keep you confused. You understand that? So watch this. Read that part again. Blessed be who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So God is only dealing with one nation, and that nation is Israel. <laughs> the Bible just said God ain't dealing with everybody. Right. Read on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. You hear how possessive that is? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, one people. Right. For he has visited and redeemed his people. His people, not everybody. Why doesn't the Bible say everybody? Because in Christianity, you learn everybody, democracy, white supremacy. The Bible is all about one nation, the Israelites. Read on. And hath raised up a horn of salvation. Who is that horn of salvation? Jesus Christ, a black man, the black Messiah. That's right. You understand that? Read on. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. House of his servant. What tribe was David from? David was from the tribe of Judah. But guess what? What was his nationality? He was an Israelite. He was a king over Israel, a nation. That same nation that God is only dealing with. Makes it. Read on. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, uh -huh. that we should be saved from our enemies. So salvation is to be saved from your enemies. But how can we be saved from our enemies if we're in the midst of our sin? And our enemies are being sent here as a consequence to overrule us, to oppress us. The way that we will be saved is coming out of our sin, separating ourselves from this world, and then the Most High is going to send his son to come redeem us again. Read on it. Read on. Finish that off. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. which began since the world began, uh -huh. that we should be saved from our enemies uh -huh. and from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us. So there's one nation, but everybody hates this one nation. Why? Because we're the children of God. That's right. You understand that? So what we're showing our people is how to bethink yourself. Because don't you see the hatred towards our nation here in America? You'll see the Arabs cutting us up in, in their stores, putting us in slave trades in Libya, various forms, right? It's still going. You'll see the Chinese man, uh, the black woman going to the Chinese man's hair store and then get her face punched in, and she's going to still be back there the next day because there's an 80% sale going on. Bring it out. Our minds go. Would you agree? The Chinese man karate chop you in the nose, but you come back the next day to buy the yaki beef. What's going on with our people? But let that be between us. Either we gonna off one another, or we just ain't gonna deal with one another. How is it that we know how to deal civilly with the other nations, but don't know how to deal civilly with ourselves? Because we're not been thinking ourselves. Our minds gone. Our minds gone. Fried here in America. You understand that? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.